welcome to the solutions manual in this video we will solve the fundamental problem 4-28 from rc hebeller engineering statics 12 edition according to this problem we have to replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and then we have to determine the couple moment about point a so to solve this problem first of all we have to resolve these two forces into their components so for the 100 lb force I have one vertical component and one horizontal component let's label them this component is 100 3 over 5 this component is 100 4 over 5 similarly I have two components for the 150 LB force I have one horizontal component and one vertical component this vertical component is equals to 150 into 4 over 5 and this horizontal component is 150 3 over 5 now we have resolved our forces into their components for the resultant force we have to sum up the forces in the x direction which are equals to if we consider right hand side as positive then we have negative 100 4 over 5 positive 50 and positive 150 3 over 5 so from here fx is equals to 60 lb similarly for the forces in the y direction we are considering up direction as positive then I have negative 100 sorry this is not equal to 0 3 over 5 negative 150 4 over 5 so Fy is equal to negative 180 lb now we can find the resultant force f by using Pythagoras theorem so from here fr is, is equals to 60 square plus negative 180 square fr is equals to 189.74 lb so now we have found the magnitude of the resultant force for its direction we can use the tan theta we know that the tan theta is equals to fy over fx fy is equal to negative 180 over 60 so from here theta is equal to 71.6 degrees negative which means that our force resultant force is lying in the fourth coordinate making an angle 71.6 with the horizontal axis so 
so this is the direction of our resultant force now for the couple moment at point A so for the couple moment at A we have to sum up all the moments about point A we are considering clockwise direction as positive so if you look at the figure then 50 lb force will not produce any movement about this point because it is passing through point A so we have also this horizontal component of 150 lb force will not produce any movement about point A because it is also passing through the point A so we have three components which are producing the movement so for this vertical component of 100 lb force I have the movement arm which is equals to 6 feet and for this horizontal component of 100 lb force I have the movement arm of 1 feet similarly for this vertical component of 150 lb force I have the moment arm of 3 feet this distance so I can write them down so this 100 lb force is trying to rotate the assembly in clockwise direction so it is taken as positive this horizontal component is trying to rotate it into counterclockwise direction so it is negative similarly this vertical component is also producing the movement in the clockwise direction so it is also taken as positive so I can write them down into the equation so we have 100 3 over 5 into 6 minus 100 4 over 5 into 1 plus 150 4 over 5 into 3 so from here the couple movement about point A is equal to 640 LB fit and what should be the direction of this movement since our answer is positive it means that our answer is in the same direction as we have considered clockwise so our movement is clockwise if we somehow end up with the negative answer then the direction could be opposite of what we have assumed so this is the answer to this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please feel free to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates